If you're interested in ways to make your next year the greatest without setting resolutions, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. <laughs> unwritten rule for New Year's resolutions is that they are broken and or forgotten by March. Instead of making New Year's resolutions, let's try adding lifestyle changes, improvements, or intentions instead. Choose any one or combination of the following four intentions for your next year. Let's make it a great one. Pick a focus word for the year. This word should be something simple but clear and something you can apply to every area of your life. Some words for consideration are action. Put your plans into action. Don't just talk about it, but do it. Blessed. No matter what curveballs life throws at you, declare that you are blessed calm. In spite of unforeseen situations, pray and remain calm. Or discipline. Be determined to be more disciplined in very areas of your life, and so on. If you don't think you can sum up in one word, choose a phrase, a declaration, or even an affirmation that works for you. Let's take the same examples. Actions. I will take action to all of my plans and goals and be intentional about growth. Blessed. I am blessed no matter what curveballs life throws at me because I know God's plans for me are to prosper. Calm. I will remain calm in every situation because I will pray first and leave it in the Lord's hands. And discipline. My discipline is being elevated, resulting in my goals being accomplished and my plans being fulfilled. I think any way that you do it, a word, a phrase, a declaration, or an affirmation, you can come up with some powerful words or statements for your next year. Pick 12 new places to visit. You can do one a month, and it doesn't have to be that expensive. You can go locally in your state or maybe the next state over, or if you want to be adventurous, go ahead and get on a plane, a train, or bus to find your next adventure. The point is you can pick 12 new places to visit and you can see new things and take plenty of pictures to have those memories that last a lifetime. But you have to pick them, you have to plan them, you have to schedule them, and then you have to do it. Make a list of intentionalities that you will commit to. You know those things that you say, I keep saying I'm going to, or I need to, or I'm going to get around to and fill in the blanks. Spending time with more family or friends. Make the time. Schedule it. Put it on your calendar. I am a firm believer. And if you know me, you know you've heard me say, if it's not on my calendar, it does not exist. I don't care if it's a phone call to, to check in with someone. Put it on your calendar. It's nothing wrong with those reminders to have you reach out to those that you say are important to you. Declutter your junk room, a junk drawer, or organize that catch-all room. We all have those spaces that could use a little more love and affection. Pick a month in the year and say, this year, this month, I'm going to dedicate to this particular room. Or pick a weekend and clean out that junk drawer. Purge those things that you don't need. Or maybe you've been talking about a program. Well, it's another whole year and you haven't enrolled in that program or that certification program and you haven't learned that skill that you said that you wanted to learn. Enroll! You know you want to. Go ahead and do it. Write the book. Start the blog. Initiate the business. Find out what you need to do in order to start the business. Start that DIY project that you've been putting off. Take up that DIY craft that you've been saying that you're interested in. You've watched the YouTube videos. Go ahead and get the products so that you too can be a DIYer. Meet new people. Whether you join the, the meetups or you expand your network online and then meet people via Zoom or something, whatever those things that you said that you were going to do, commit to doing those things. No one's going to do it if you don't. Remember, 
The planning begins with you. This one is a really good one for our intentions. I call it good and bad. Pick one or two habits that you will work on that are good and one or two habits that you will work on breaking that are quote unquote bad. For example, if you're always late, then work on being on time or even 15 minutes early. If you interrupt people a lot when they're talking because you want to get your point across, work on being a better listener to what the person is saying instead of a person who listens because they want to respond. If you procrastinate a lot or if you make excuses why you can't do certain things, then work on being more consistent. If you think you're a little bit lazy, or let me put it this way, if you're watching workout videos and you're saving them and you're sharing them, but you're not doing them, work on exercising at least three times a week, at least. The doctors generally say that working out three times a week for a minimum of 30 minutes is a good place to start. Whether that's your minimum or whether you're just getting started, try it three times a week. And it doesn't have to be anything too strenuous. It could be stretching, it could be yoga, it could be a walk, but not just a leisurely walk, a pace that's a little bit faster than your normal pace. If you eat out a lot or you eat a lot of fast food, then perhaps you work on eating more healthy things and you cook more uh, at home. And then you know you're getting the healthy nutrients that you need. Whatever you decide to work on, whatever habits you decide are good or bad that you're gonna work on getting or breaking, do it, commit to it this year. They say that it takes about 14 to 28 days to create a new habit. Why not make it a 30 day challenge? 30 day challenges are very popular. And at the end of those 30 days, you've kind of have your mind and your body in a rhythm and you've put the, the system in place. So why not make it a challenge? Which ones will you work on for next year? Whatever intentions you use, whether it's all of them or some combination of them throughout the year, be sure to track them to mark your progress. I'm a visual person, so I like a physical calendar, especially for my exercises, and I mark off the days that I exercise. And then I can visually see that in my mind, I might be working out five times a week, but in reality, I might be working out three or four times a week. That works for me. Perhaps you like an app to track uh, your progress. Whatever you use, make sure you mark it and you track it so that you can see your areas of growth. You can see the places that you visited that you didn't know about. You can see the time that you shared with your family and your friends and you didn't just talk about it. You actually did connect with them or reconnect with them. And you can see those habits that you've broken that were bad because you're no longer doing those anymore and that junk room or that junk drawer is now organized and everything is in its place no matter what you choose whatever combination be sure to track your intentions and celebrate take time out to celebrate the wins along the way the planning begins with you so only you know the growth that you will have this is your personal plan these are goals for your life Track them and see the progress. And if you should happen to miss a day or a couple of days, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up. Give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. Life does throw curveballs. And sometimes, sometimes it takes us a little bit longer than we thought to recover. So give yourself a little grace. Be your own motivation and encouragement and get back on track to the things that you committed to. It's all right. There's always an opportunity to start over, whether it's an hour from now, eight hours from now, 24 hours from now, or two or three days from now. You always have the opportunity to start over. The planning does begin with you and it can happen without you. Who needs New Year's resolutions when they're going to fade in about three months anyway, when instead you can set intentions that last a lifetime? That is if you set them with the right motives. I hope this video has given you a new perspective on setting intentions for your life and that you share it with a friend. So together we can be on this journey of setting life intentions for the greatest year ever. Feel free to like, comment below one area where you will set an intention so we can continue the conversation and subscribe to our channel for more videos on encouragement, leadership, and success.
Make your next year an intentional great year. Have a happy new year. One of the greatest. An intentional year of greatness. Our greatest year of intention yet.